The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. We're kicking things off with a really important issue affecting women worldwide. But even I was shocked to find out it's happening here, right at home, and of all places, even right here in Beverly Hills. Check this out. It's hard to believe, but women are succumbing to a shocking surgery across the globe thought to restore virginity. Many say they've been, quote, cut, sewn up, and fixed by doctors pushed by fixated family members in conservative cultures. Prizing virginity and the expectation a woman will bleed after sex on her wedding night. The misconception that a woman's virginity can be determined by the integrity of her hymen persists and is perpetuated even here in the U.S. Rapper T.I. came under fire when he announced he'd be taking his 18-year-old daughter for her annual check. Despite virginity tests being condemned by the World Health Organization, and they've stated there is no test or exam that can accurately determine whether a woman has had sex. But that hasn't stopped the practice or surgical interventions. A survey of U.S. gynecologists revealed at least 10% of respondents have been asked to perform virginity tests and 3.5% admitted to doing so. But now, Britain is reportedly banning virginity testing and the controversial hymen repair surgery known as hymenoplasty. So what exactly does it take to be a born-again virgin? And who is still looking for this label and procedure here at home? Here to make this often private conversation public is OBGYN, our friend, Dr. Thais Alia Body. Welcome to the show, Doc. Thank you. Thank, Thank you God. for having me. All right. So, Dr. Uh, Dr. Alia Body, break it down for us. What, when you're doing a, somebody's doing a hymenoplasty, exactly what does it entail? So basically hymenoplasty is the repair of the hymen, which is a stretchy membrane that partially covers the opening to the vagina. And we basically, during surgery, we put this ring back together. Um, it saddens me that in this day and age, we're still talking about this, but uh, it is a very common procedure, especially in certain parts of the world. What are some of the risks that can be associated with the hymenoplasty? It's not a risky procedure uh, if it's done right, but if it's not done right, it can cause scarring and painful sex later. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the biggest risk is this false expectation that women have, that if they have this procedure, then they will bleed uh, during intercourse, which is not always the case. Even when we put the hymen back together, only half of patients can have some bloody discharge or some bleeding um, during sex. So that's the most important thing to educate these women on. It's not a guarantee. The surgery is hymenoplasty, but the question is who is asking for this surgery and you know, shed more light, Doc, what, what can you tell us about their motivations? The reality of it is patients with specific cultural or religious backgrounds that really need a virginity test before they get married. These are patients, you'd be shocked, they show up to my office, they have their fiance and their in-laws waiting in the waiting room for me to go in examine them and I have to type up a report and hand it to them so they can take it back to the family, which, I mean, it breaks my heart. And you think, you know, uh, in year 2022 in Beverly Hills, I shouldn't see this, but I still do. 